Hey, what's up, survivors? Chuck Murray here. I just want to let you guys know real quick that the new and improved Zombie Go Boom store is finally open. So please make sure you get your products today only at zombiegoboom.com. Hey, what's up, survivors? Welcome to a chilly episode of Zombie Go Boom. We're right here in the ZGB compound, and we have Alex from the KGB Survivalist channel. Please subscribe by clicking right here, and he is going to be teaching us how to make a bow out of PVC. And we're not talking about like a bow staff, we're talking about a bow for a bow and arrow. So, you want to get started? Yeah, I'm actually very curious to see. Um, I've been wanting to try this out on a zombie for a very long time, so I'm very glad that we can cooperate and make this uh, joint venture. Uh, let's go kill some zombies after we make this thing. But first, let me show you what we need. What we need is a drill bit. This is a, if I remember correctly, a 732 okay. drill bit. And we need some 550 paracord. Any color will do. Uh, the PVC pipe, this is a one inch diameter. And we're using all of five feet. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we are making this so that we can see if you can make a PVC bow for under 10 bucks and kill a zombie with it. It should have at least 40 pounds of pull, but we're going to measure it as well, and we'll teach you how to do that. And uh, hey, wait, this is unraveled for you. So, here we go. Okay. Can we go ahead and drill a nice clean hole for me? Yeah, like an inch off the top or? Just straight down the middle. Like around here? Mm -hmm. It's going all the way through. Mm -hmm. And now? Same thing on the other side? Same thing, just, yes, to make sure it's parallel to this one. Gotcha. I'm holding it exactly upright. The beauty of this is it's a very simple design. You, know, you drill two holes, and uh, you know if you're in a zombie situation and uh, you don't have access to power tools or there's no electricity, you can always use a knife and you can carve notches on top of the bow. We're, we're just doing this because it's convenient and it's going to last a little bit longer. So he's just sticking the paracord through, like this, and obviously through the other end as well. And then you're just tying it normally or is this a special knot? Uh, we're going to make it just a simple knot on this side. Uh, any knot will actually suffice. Yeah, there's uh, no magic tricks here, this is just a standard knot. Okay. And we can tie it a little bit more. And as we get to this part, I've already threaded it through. This is where we bend it, right? This is where we bend it. And the thing, the good thing about this, um, if you have two people, the more the merrier. If you're by yourself, you can still do this. this Rolling. Now to string the bow, when you're by yourself, you simply just take the paracord, and slightly, this is center, slightly above center. You're, you push forward, and you pull down the paracord. Very simple. Like this. At that point, I would still keep it tense, and I would just simply wrap it. Nothing to it. You put your leg through, and then you can bend it. Bend it using using your leg as support. So a little bit more, maybe. A little more. Yeah, this is good. I think. Okay. So yeah, find a buddy, or uh, or if you're a real badass, try it out yourself. You can always use a table or something to help you out. Yeah, um, doing putting your leg through it does help. 
Yeah. During during this through the uh, during this in the cold times, probably not the best idea because you can't feel anything. <laughs> yeah, it's really cold out here, guys. Jesus. We use an excessive amount of paracord. You can actually get a, uh, get away with using a little bit less. Mm -hmm. uh, probably like six feet or so. But this is good if you want to store paracord mm -hmm. and then use it later. Because you uh, you know you could unstring the bow, take out some paracord, string it back. Yeah. Yeah. The beauty of this design, like. Uh, as with any other bow, you, you want to unstring it whenever you're not using it. That way, you're not losing uh, any kind of power. And that's it. Really easy. This took like 10 minutes to make. All you need is 5 feet and 1 inch diameter of polyvinyl chloride tubing, which is PVC, and some paracord. And then you're ready to fire some zombies. And wow! There is a lot of pull to this bow. I can't tell you how much, but we are going to show you how you can measure it just using a normal bathroom skin. And also, please subscribe by clicking here to KGB Survivalist. Thank you for coming, man, and thank you for teaching us this. My I can't, pleasure. I can't wait to test this on a zombie. And with another mind-blowing tutorial from ZGB TV 2, I'm Chuck Murray. And I'm Alec from KGB Survivalist. Please subscribe to Alec. He's a super <laughs> cool guy. And we will see you on the next one. Now, if you enjoyed this survival hack, please click right here for a playlist chock full of zombie survival hacks. Hey, what's up, survivors? Chuck Murray here. I just want to let you guys know real quick that the new and improved Zombie Go Boom store is finally open. And there are some products that you may be familiar with, like the Ivan Heads and the Executioner Swords. But there are definitely some products that you guys are not familiar with, like these dog tags with a certificate of ZGB membership plus the bracelets are back the nunchucks are back and the Kali sticks are back for some epic zombie murdering so please make sure you get your products today only at zombiegoboom.com